Bestaune Tomate, Bestaune auch Tomate. PDAs are the Automata model for context-free languages and context-free grammars. And in this video we see how we actually construct a PDA for um, a given context-free grammar, how we turn a grammar into a, an automaton. So what we are doing is we take a context-free grammar G and turn it into a PDA P. And the idea behind this uh, construction is that the uh, PDA simulates the derivation of the grammar on its stack. If the PDA encounters a terminal symbol on the stack, then the terminal symbols are matched against the input. And if the PDA encounters a, uh, a non-terminal uh, on top of the stack, then the PDA non-deterministically chooses or guesses a production and applies this production rule. Let's consider a concrete example. We have a grammar. Here are the production rules in, of this grammar. And first question is, of course, what, what language does this grammar generate? And this grammar generates the language of all the palindromes of even length. So the language we are looking at here is this one. So all the palindromes of even length. Now, to turn the grammar into a PDA, we encode the production rules by transitions. So we add transitions to the PDA that do the same thing as the production rules. If we have a closer look at these uh, transitions, what they say is, without reading something from the input, if we have an S on top, then we can replace this S by the uh, a lower case a, an uppercase s and a lowercase a. So it's exactly applying this transition here and the very same for the two other um, productions. They are also directly copied, transformed into a, into a transition rule. And this is actually the only dynamic part of this construction. We simply copy the uh, production rules into um, transitions for the uh, PDA. And the remaining part, this is actually the one that's the same for all. So this part here, this one, and even these transitions, they are the same. So this is the same for all. Same for all grammars. The first thing this um, PDA does it is it pushes the start symbol onto the stack. So in this state uh, Q0, in the initial state, the first transition simply pushes the start symbol on the stack. Now that we have the start symbol on the stack, we have to guess a production, the production that we would actually use for deriving the, uh, the word. And as the first uh, production rule, we would simply replace the S by ASA. So we take the corresponding uh, transition and replace the S by ASA on the stack. And now the topmost symbol on the stack corresponds to the leftmost symbol of the derivation. This one here is, a, um, is a, obviously a terminal symbol, so cannot be replaced any further. So we know that the leftmost uh, character of our string will be an A. So we can actually match this A here from the input with the, match, uh, with, with the matching A on the stack. And this is done by these um, transitions here that simply match the non-terminals. So if we encounter a non-terminal on the stack top, we simply match it against the input. Now, after matching the input, the A is gone. So our topmost symbol is the S again, and we have to guess a production. And this time we choose the uh, production that replaces S by BSB, which corresponds to this transition rule here. So we replace the S by BSB on the stack. Now again, we have a B as the topmost symbol, and we do a matching transition. 
So the um, PDA matches the input against the stack top, removes the B. Now we end up with a non-terminal again as stack top. We have to choose a production. The production we choose is the one we would also choose in the derivation. That is, replace the S by the empty word. Now the S is gone and we can continue with the matching. We match the B and we match the A. And now all the uh, symbols are gone from the stack. We find our bottom marker again and we have matched the whole input. So we simply move to the accepting state and accept the word. And this is actually an easy construction to uh, construct a PDA. Sometimes PDAs can be cumbersome to construct, but as soon as we have uh, the context-free grammar, this construction always works and is always foolproof. Let's summarize the construction. We start with a context-free grammar, G, and we build a PDA. This PDA has three states, Q0, Q1, QF. It has the same input alphabet as G, so they coincide. The uh, stack alphabet comprises all the non-terminals, all the terminal symbols from the input alphabet, and a special symbol, uh, the hashtag here, that we use as a bottom marker. This uh, should be a fresh symbol, so it does not interfere with any of the derivations. Start uh, state is, of course, the uh, Q0. Initially, we have the uh, hashtag on the, uh, on the stack, and QF is our final state. How does it work, the, uh, the PDA? How does it move? First move is always pushing the start symbol on the stack. So if we are in the initial state, then we can, without reading anything from the input, um, we can simply push the uh, start symbol from the grammar on the stack. This is so that we can actually start with the derivation. Let's jump to the uh, last move. The last move is when we uh, encounter the bottom marker again, then we simply uh, change state to our accepting state. Because then uh, there's no production rule that we can apply and we have matched all the uh, inputs uh, to the uh, stack. For state Q1, we have two types of, uh, of transitions. The first one is the easiest one. This simply matches the input uh, against the, uh, the stack top for all the terminal symbols. So for all symbols from the input alphabet, we simply match the uh, symbol on the stack with the input. The other one, the second kind of uh, transition, simply applies a production. So if we have a production rule that allows us to replace the, uh, the non-terminal A by the string B1 to Bn, we add a, uh, add, a, add a transition that does exactly the same, that simply takes the uh, uh, A, the non-terminal A, from the stack and replace it, uh, replaces it by B1 to Bn. And that's it. We are done with the PDA construction.